Anyway, I've looked at these, and it looks like you've done them all correctly up to number eight. Uh, yep, so if we could just start number nine, then... Uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Let me take a picture of it so we can cool. have something I can write on. Mm -hmm. So what's number nine? Um, I was confused on this one, so... Well, every, uh, what did just, everything in the parentheses is being cubed. Okay. That's the point of them. In other words, that's not the same expression as that. If no. you wrote it like that, only the x is being cubed. Okay. That makes sense. So what's the answer to 4x quantity cubed? Well, it's just to be 4 times 4 times 4, then. Huh? Which is 64? 64. 64, yep. X, right? X cubed. Cool. Or you still have to cube the X also. Right. You have to cube everything that's inside the parentheses. Okay, cool. Okay. Weather's cool. going to act up. Hold on a second. Let me close my window here. You're good. Start to storm out. We've got bad weather coming. Oh, I know. Uh, unfortunately, I don't no. get it. We're supposed to get snow. I know. Like, I know. I know. The middle of May has that happened recently? No, but it's playing havoc with my garden. I got all oh. the vegetables out there. I hope they don't freeze tonight and tomorrow night. Oh. That's the two nights I got to worry about. Right. Hopefully not. So number ten. Okay. So would this one be three over y to the fourth? No. Again, sure. everything in the parentheses has to be... It has to be a uh, multiplier. So yes. Here's what it is. Yeah. Right. So what's that answer? So 3 times 3 is 9 is 27 times 3 is 64. So would it just be... Or 81, my bad. Um, yeah, so just y to the fourth over 81. Uh-huh. In other okay. words, is all you do is you take the numerator to the fourth power and you take the denominator to the fourth power. Cool. It's that straightforward, yeah. Okay. Okay, how about number 11? Um, this would be 3x to the tenth. Is the 3 being acted on by that 5? Uh, it is. So 15x to the tenth. No. Three to the or no, fifth, three to the fifth for bad. starters, and then x to the tenth. Okay. Well, I don't know what three to the fifth is. I guess it's three times eighty-one, two forty-three. So uh, two forty-three x to the tenth is the answer. Cool. That makes sense. Yeah, you just just. Apply the exponent to everything that's in the parentheses and only to the stuff that's in the parentheses. Okay. Same way as this one. We applied the cube to the 4 and the x. Mm -hmm. About 12. Um, so 12 would be xy to the negative third. What's x to the 0th power? Just 1. Right, so it would just be, that's it. But they want all the answers with positive exponents. So it would be 1 over y to the third. Cool. I assume they do. Most, most yeah, of the school uh, does. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. you make sure you know how to handle the negative exponents. So right. about 13, what's the number part? Um, so it would be... The number part, so it would be yeah. two. In other words, the way you do these problems is you do the numbers first, then you do the x variable, then you do the y variable, and then if there's a z variable, you do it. In other words, you just do everything one thing at a time. Okay. So what's the number part? Uh, so it would be 2x to the first. The number part is 5 over 3. So would you just subtract them? I'd leave them. The number part is 5 over 3. That's the answer to the number part. Oh, okay. Now what's okay. the x part? Um, just In other x. words, I can't simplify 5 over 3. 
If it was 10 over 6, it would become 5 over 3. But uh -huh. I can't do anything with 5 and 3 other than write it as 5 over 3. So what is it? X to the what? Uh, X to the first. Subtract so X. the exponents. You're doing division. Three. Subtract the exponents. Um, 3 minus and minus 2. So that would be, okay, X to the fifth. Okay, is it in the numerator or the denominator? Uh, both, no. Always uh, starts out in the numerator. Okay. In other words, if I'd have gotten a negative exponent, then I would have moved it to the denominator. Okay. But if I get a, like the next part, what's the Y part? The Y part would be um, negative 2. Which places it so, where? 1 over 2. So that would be in the, yeah, that would be in the denominator. Because of, yeah. Cool. In other words, when I put it in the denominator, I got to change the sign on the exponent. Right. What I got was y to the minus 2. In other words, okay. this is just as correct of an answer. Okay. Okay. That's what I got when I did the math. Right. But if I want all my answers to have positive exponents, then I got to move that y to the other side. Changing the okay. component to positive two. Okay, cool. Like you understand that you got all those others correct. Uh huh. Yep. Right. Cool. Fourteen. All right. So four. Negative four over twelve. Simplify that. Uh, so that would be um, negative one over three. Now extend the fraction line because we got more variables to come. What's right. the x part? Um, so the x part would have to be negative 3 minus 3, so it would be negative 6. And then that would go in the numerator. If I make it x to the negative 6, it goes in the numerator. All right, we'll start, out, we'll start out by doing that, and then we'll let you simplify it at the end. What's the okay. y equal? Um, and then the y would be equal to um, 6. Okay. And these always are in the numerator. Now give me the proper answer. Um, let's see. So it would be negative 1 over 3x to the 6th. And then on the that numerator, x is y is minus 6. Is it if you put it in the denominator then it's well you didn't positive. say that you just you oh, my bad. read it I thought. like it was still in the numerator oh yeah. my bad in other words it's minus one y to the sixth which is in the numerator and stays there uh -huh. over x to the sixth okay in other words my x to the minus six started in the numerator I had to move it to the denominator making it x to the sixth okay my dog is just on my lap shaking. Oh, oh. I, have, I can only, scared. Well, I can only presume because it's the storm outside, but she never does this. Oh, honey. Uh, yeah, my dog is just absolutely terrified he, of lightning. He usually goes outside and barks the hell out of the storm. Uh, oh, really? Uh-huh. Every time it lightning, so she'll run out and bark. But Weird. Now she's cowering? Now she's cowering on my lap just shivering. Oh, honey. Okay. How about, uh, maybe it's, a, how about maybe it's a big storm. I don't know. What's the numerator become on 15? Um, so it would be, first it'd be one, one half. Hold on. And the, Hold on. the no, number no, no, part. No, 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 You can't do the numbers as long as that number is inside a parenthesis that's being squared. Okay. you got to get rid of the parentheses first before you can okay. do the number. So when you get rid of the parentheses, what's the numerator? Um, if you get rid of the parentheses? That's always the first task, is getting rid of the parentheses. So it would be 9x nine, nine to nine the second. 9x squared. Now we got 9x squared over 6x to the fifth. Now you can handle the numbers, simplify the yep. numbers. Um, so it would be 5 minus so, or 2 minus 5, so negative 3. So it would be 3x to the negative third, so then be 1 over 3x to the third. Except 9 over 6 isn't 3. What's 9 over 6? Nine. 
Not every, did I say my bad? No, three over uh, three over two. Okay, so that's a correct answer, but it's not the answer they want. They want three no. over two x to the third. Yep, that's the answer they want. They're both the exactly. same thing. It's right, they just want the. Yeah, their convention is they want all positive exponents. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it's really dumping where I am right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, I was hoping I would have time to go out and put a little plastic over my veggies, but I didn't get to it. <laughs> if you if you uh, need to go do that right now. And I'm not going out there now to do it. Is it raining there too? Yeah, it's raining really hard, super windy. Oh yeah, we got some wind here too. Not as so, bad though. This one here, what do we do first? Um, so is that the, uh... Got to do it I'm, without a calculator. Is this when you turn it into a log? Is no. that this one? Or, no. It's not this. Um... You use logs when your variable is in the exponent. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember uh, that. This is just a, a number to a fractional exponent. Okay. The 2 means what? Uh, the 2 means, um... I should say the denominator means what? The denominator of the exponent. Um, that's the root. Is that the root? Okay. It means so. that square root. The three oh, okay. means that whatever our square root is, we're going to cube. Well, what's oh, okay. the square root of 225? Um, what is that? 14? I think it's 15. 15, yeah. Remember that that last number has to, when multiplied by itself, it has to end in a 5. Oh, that's so right. it can't be 14, because when I multiply 4 times 4, I end in a 6. Right. And that's one way to do those problems. In other uh -huh. words, if you forget your roots, just make sure that your answer, that digit times itself, the 5 times itself, ends in a 5. Okay. Okay, so the problem becomes 15 cubed. Yeah. I don't know what that number is, but you can get that number out of your calculator. I can. Actually, you can't, because they say do it without using a calculator. Which oh, so you just have to do it. I am. You're going to have to do 225, which is 15 squared times 15. So yeah. you're going to have to do that much manually. No, it's not bad, but it's unusual that they would make you do that much arithmetic. That is, yeah. All right, how about this one? What's the cube Okay, so... Yeah, you do it. Yeah, yeah the cube root of 125 is... Uh, that's 5, so it'd be 5 squared. Uh -huh. Cool. These are all pretty easy. Especially yeah, they're not bad. because the only ones they give you are ones where the root is a small whole number. Notice that we had, well, this one was 15, so that was a bigger number. But this one was 5, this one's going to be 3, this one's going to be 2. They're always usually small whole numbers. Exactly. Okay, what's the fourth root of 81? Uh, 3. So it would be 3, three to the third. Mm -hmm. What is 3 cubed? Oh, my bad. Uh, so 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. Okay, how about this one? Oh, that was... <laughs> wow. I just shook our house. There's a... Uh, That's funny. Man, I'm, lightning. I'm, I'm hearing it at the same time that I hear it over the phone connection. <laughs> oh, at your house. No, we got it hit here. Actually, I'm, I can't tell, really, whether I'm hearing it over the phone or outside, but... We don't live that far from one another, that it's probably about the same point in time. I don't think so. Yeah, that's loud. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, okay, so for 22, you would just add 5. 19. Let's go in order. Oh, I'm skipping them. I, yeah, I thought that, that was weird. The number's kind of weird there. Um, so this would be, um, I might just went blank. So the cube root of 8, so 2. So 2 to the 7th. And then what would... I don't know the, what that is. It's the two one tenses. I remember is 2 to the 5th is 32. So this has got to be 64, 128. 
128. That's 2 to the 7. Okay. In other words, if you can remember one of them, then it's not hard to work out the others. Yeah. And <laughs> it's a nice easy one to remember. Yeah. <laughs> I hear your dog. Oh, man. She's barking at the thunder. <laughs> She's cute. What kind of dog is she? She's a mix between a Chihuahua and a Terrier. <laughs> That's awesome. Somehow she learned. She learned that if she barked at the thunder, it stopped thundering. And oh, okay. Not, so she thinks not wrong, right? I mean, no, she's not. I no, mean, if you go out and bark at the, if I went out and barked at the thunder, it would stop thundering also for a few se seconds. I <laughs> exactly. But I where her brain might interpret it that to mean, I got to bark every time it thunders and it'll stop. <laughs> right. She doesn't want it to thunder. She wants it to stop. She just thinks she she controls it. Right. <laughs> so what's the cube root of negative sixty four? Um, that would be four. Right. What's Six, four? Yeah. What's four times four times four? Four times four is sixteen. Times four is oh, that's eighty one. No. No, that's no sixty four. Yeah. Right. No, right. We're not taking. Uh -huh. We don't want it to be 64. Well, it's be negative. negative 64. Um, so what's the cube root of negative 60? Negative 4. Exactly. Because negative yeah. 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 is negative 64. Right. Okay. And 21. Um, negative 2 to the 5th. Which is, ooh, boy, that was a sharp flash. I just heard, I saw that too, like, Close. right out, right out the window, I yeah. Count at about a half a second. Yeah, oh, wow. Gee, uh, wait, wait, do you live in the valley, Mr. Callan? No, I live close, though. I live uh, two blocks south of Chatfield. Oh, okay. Oh, that's really close. Yeah, right north of that King Supers. Oh, cool. Okay. Close enough that the speed of light is when that thunder goes off, you and I both see it at the same point in time. It's not insane. That's crazy yeah, to like hear it a little think bit. about. I'm going to uh -huh. hear the thunder probably sooner if it's close to me. Right, right. Because it'll take a certain amount of time for it to travel the five miles that separate us or four miles or whatever. Right. The speed of light's pretty instantaneous, whereas the speed of sound is not. Uh-huh. That's how you can tell how far away lightning is, by counting how many seconds it takes between where you see it and when you hear it. Right, like every second's a mile. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. cool how you can figure that out. Yeah. Uh -huh. I've always found that stuff, like, really interesting. Yeah, for, I do too. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's really interesting is that sound travels faster underwater than it does in the air. Really? Uh-huh. I did not know that. Oh, wow. I saw that one, too. Ooh, uh, yeah. Whole house did you hear whole that? Whole Man, that was loud. You could probably hear the vibration in my furniture on that one. I did. I heard, oh, man. I heard the vi the vibration, like, hit first here, and then I heard it over huh. the, over the huh. speaker. I guess the vibration is only caused by the sound. Uh, yeah, that's the sound. That's crazy though. Like what I just found out that was like really interesting to me. All of the planets in our solar system can fit in the space between Earth and the Moon. That's what uh, I was reading. The same that NASA came out with. All, all, and, all of the pie, pie. All of the <laughs> planets can fit, fit between the Earth and the Moon. Yep. Mm -hmm. Even in our solar, even it doesn't. Jupiter and Saturn, those giant ones. Yep. yep. Isn't that weird? Like you would, I, I I can't like wrap my mind around that, but they said it's possible for all the planets to fit between that space. I was like, wow. Well, to me, like, what's it's amazing weird. is that the moon mm -hmm. is precisely the same ratio as the distance from the Earth to the moon as the moon is to the size of the sun. Really? That, yeah, that's why when you have a solar eclipse. The moon mm -hmm. completely covers out the sun, blocks it out right. almost perfectly, except for a tiny ring at the outside. Right. But the right. only reason that's true is because the moon is exactly where it's at. 
if the moon was further away, it would totally block the sun out. And uh -huh. if the moon were closer, it would only block a small portion of it out. So it's exactly one fortieth, I believe, the distance to the sun, and uh -huh. it's exactly one fortieth the diameter of right. the sun. So therefore, it, whenever it passes in front of the sun, it just completely blocks it out. Right. Have you ever seen that movie Interstellar? With the, uh, yeah. it was like the time traveling type maybe it wasn't like they like through the wormhole and stuff yeah, like uh, i just blonde, the blonde gal in it um yep Charlie uh, what's... their own um i don't know i, think, I know I, it's, I don't yeah. remember the movie so much i i mean you watch space movies and you know they all mm -hmm. kind of become the same after a while <laughs> so that's I don't, true i don't know that's true. one is interstellar but i think i did see it Oh, it's all good. But, like, they landed on this one planet, and every hour on that planet is seven years on Earth. Oh. Okay. Like, is what they, like, yeah. did in the movie. Because all that it's, is that it was revolving every seven years. Whereas right. Earth I, that's spends, just insane. spends once a day. Makes one right. revolution per day. Uh-huh. That's okay, just crazy. I mean, like, okay. Um, sir, we, we just did 21. Uh, it was negative two fifths to oh. the fifth, or negative two to the fifth power. Okay, which is remember what uh, two which to the is. fifth is? Yeah, that was um, to the fifth was was one. 30, yeah, thirty-two. Thirty-two so times. What's, this answer? what's negative two to the fifth? Uh one twenty-eight. Negative oh, one twenty-eight. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get at a point here. Okay. If 2 to the 5th is 32, then what is negative 2 to the 5th? Negative 32. What is negative 2 to the 6th? Um, negative 64. Positive 64. Oh, because it's an even number. Exactly. Okay. In other words, cool. negative 2 squared is positive uh -huh. 4. But right. negative 2 cubed is negative 8. All have okay. to do with whether that's even or odd as to whether it loses the negative sign or not. Okay. Cool. All right. How about number 24? Um, so 24. Oh, geez. Let's see. We did, we did skip one. Let's 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 do twenty two and twenty. Okay. Oh, well, we don't have enough time. Let's do twenty four while we're talking about it. Yeah, because twenty two and twenty three are easy. Well, we'll 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 go back and do those also. But twenty four. Okay. Well, let's do this one aspect first. to it. What's, okay. What's the first step on twenty four? Uh, four through each side. Okay, so what do I get? Be... X minus three. What's the four through to eighty-one? Oh man, um, four through. Oh, so that's three. There's a nine. Three. Nine. It's nine, um, nine squared. Which nine squared is eighty-one. Has three to the fourth. Right. So it's three. So the fourth root of eighty-one is three, but it's plus or minus three. Uh huh. It's not just three. No. And which makes your answer six or zero. Yep. Now, plug six in. Is that a proper equation? Um, yes, it is. Plug yep. zero in. Is that a proper equation? They both are valid solutions. Yep. Cool. But you only get them if you remember that plus or minus. If right. You if you don't remember that. Then. Minus, you're only going to get six. Uh-huh. And you're going to lose points. Yeah. Out both solutions. Uh-huh. Okay. And now let's do 22. First step. Okay. So add five to both sides. So it becomes x squared is equal to 169 and then x is equal to 13. Plus or minus 13. Plus or minus. Yeah. Cool. 
23. First step. Um, subtract 22 from both sides. Um, so you get negative 140. Second, second step. Yep. Um, and then you divide by 3 on both sides. And then what would, uh, so four, negative 49. And then so X becomes. You know what? I, I don't. My math might be wrong there because the fifth root of negative 49 is not a whole number. No, it's not. You can't find one with that. So did I do my math right? Does three go into, let's see, three times that is 147. So X is. Can we just say, yeah, like that. one fifth power? Okay. Or. If you prefer, x is the fifth root of negative 49. Mm -hmm. And since 49 only has two factors, 7 and 7, mm -hmm. I can't simplify it at all, not when we're talking fifth root. Right. So this would be the way, either one of these, and, and this is kind of a teacher preference thing also, a lot of times they'll want their answers with radical signs, not fractional exponents. Oh, okay. Especially if they give it to you as a radical sign. In other words, that problem 27, uh -huh. giving it to us as a radical sign, they probably want the answer back as a radical sign. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Um, all right. I guess that's as good a place as any to stop. When's your yeah. final, Dylan? Um, it's on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. So next week, we've got uh -huh. appointments scheduled on Monday and Wednesday. Let's cancel the Wednesday, and then can we move that to Sunday? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let me see if I can do it. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's see if it'll do this. What okay. time? Hold on. Uh, it doesn't want to go backwards. God, you think <laughs> it's hard to do that easy, huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm going to cancel. Uh -huh. Go ahead and cancel it. Okay. This only, although it really should be this and all future ones. Okay, yeah, so Sunday, May 21st. What time do you want it at? Yeah, let's do, how else, what do you have? Let's see, let's do six. Yeah, let's do six. Okay. Hold on, let me get it in there. Okay. And we're doing 6 to 6.30. Mm-hmm. Wait, is it pouring? <laughs> it is pouring out. <laughs> it's dull right it. now. Can't you? Yep, well, I hear it. I don't it. know how you could tell the difference between if it's pouring here or where you're at. Right. It oh, it's dumping here. here. I'm not expecting to find any vegetables at all tomorrow morning when I wake up. <laughs> Unfortunately, right? Uh, luckily, I brought half of them in. Oh, good. And ones that aren't supposed to handle cold weather very well. Right. Um, well, at least baseball's over, too. So. Yeah. 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 All least right. Are, all you right. A, are you a ping pong player also, Dylan? I do like ping pong. I do. Have, have you ever played with Justin? Oh, I have. <laughs> He's had, he has like a competition with his dad all the time. Yeah, no, and last then, time I was <laughs> over there, they were talking about playing. And I showed oh, really? my little ping pong video that I made. Oh, cool. Because I have a, a ping pong video with my ping pong robot. Right. Oh, yeah, ping pong robot. Cool. And yeah, we talked about uh, playing, but ever since mm -hmm. that night, he's done all the sessions online, so... I haven't oh, okay. been over to his house again since then. But oh, gotcha. You'll have to send me that. Send me a video of that. Well, it's on my website, actually. But sometime oh, in the summer, okay. we'll have to meet over at his house and play a little ping pong. I like that. You just let me know. That'd be awesome. Yeah. His dad, awesome. we could have a doubles, even. That actually, that'd be really fun, like a tournament type yeah, deal. It is fun, ping pong doubles, because the rules are every other... Each player has to hit every other ball. 
So you right. got to get out of the way. <laughs> True. It's not like tennis doubles where no, it's not you know, like where you get into your court. Um, right, you don't have to take turns for that. No, no, you got to hit the ball and then get out of the way so that the other guy can step in and hit the next one. I like that. We have to. We have to do that. We have to do that. Yeah, let's do it sometime. All right. All right. I'm gonna go and see if I can calm my dog down. <laughs> Sounds good, little guy. <laughs> All right. Talk awesome. to you later. Sounds good, Lexus Scout.